girl move. <laughs> At night. <laughs> We're doing the show. At, At night. night. Hey, girl. Hey, Pooh. Hmm, you look a little silky t- today. As long as they keep their filthy paws off my silky drawers. Okay, period. We good. All right. It look like I got like a little Valentine's. I would never wear this for Valentine's Day for the shop, so just know that. But, anywho, welcome back to the couch of Let's Whine About It. Uh, the trials, the trials, and tribulations of what we're trying to do for y'all is really weighing on us, but we is in this, and we're going to do this like Brutus. And we finna get to the tea because it's a lot of tea to get to. Everything been going up. 2023 is trying to go out with a bang. You feel me? Big bang. It's real crazy. Like, is the shit true? Are the rumors true? Diddy? Diddy bop. Diddy love. Okay. You diddy bopping out of these cases real quick. Yeah. I mean, mm. I, you, we gonna get into you, but anywho, let's just get into this little quick icebreaker, You're right? Real quick, You're right? Um, what were you most thankful for? Well, I am most thankful for. First off, I'm thankful for health and love and family. Mm-hmm. Of course, basically, family is just my son for sure yes but I mean of course my other family but really when I say that I mean like my son for Mm -hmm. sure that's my bestie um I am thankful for a creative mind that is a huge blessing Mm -hmm. that I really have played with for a while but I'm happy that I'm like my creative juices are flowing okay yes um and besides that oh I'm gonna say this quick. I'm thankful for my job or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I'm definitely thankful for my friends. Like, I love you guys. Love oh, you too. Bless. I'm thankful for being a little cute little thing. Oh, my little crush. I got my little crush. I've been planning on this little crush. Got some digits today. Probably gonna be cut off by tomorrow. But you know, as long as I know, I still got it. Why? Because, like, he already has done, like, a lot of shit that I'm just like, why are you like this? <sighs> so, I don't know. I think I was just crushing so hard that I just had to. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not even about to get in the time of day until, mm-hmm. unless he can show me that he was better. So, still very much single. But, you know, single people crush sometimes. Yeah, that is also true. Um, what are you thankful for? Let's see. I'm thankful for trying to train myself to have a peace of mind. Okay. Okay. Because lately, stuff been going off the hinges, but we're going to get through it. And I'm most thankful for um, my baby. Love you. Love you too. You was a hardworking man. Love me. <laughs> And I'm most thankful for, like, you know, having a job that makes me, you know, do what I need to do to actually progress in life. So I do T-shirts. She do outfits. We trying to make an empire here, okay? Sinclair and T's for T. Period. Collars. Shipping and handling. Hit me up. All right? On my flip. Phone. (laughs) But, yes, that's what I'm most thankful for. I'm thankful for my mother. I'm thankful for my for my family. I'm just thankful for them. Um, even though I'm just thankful. Anywho, let's get into this. Huh. Diddy. Well, who, wait, hold on. Who you really want to start off with? I feel like we should do Diddy last. Okay. Because I got we gotta rip him a new asshole, which he probably done got a new asshole at least three times in his career. Cause I know it's getting toe up from the flow up. Clock that tea. But I'm gonna relax. <laughs> relax. Hold on. Okay, Kim. Okay, well, let's just start off with Megan and Party. Okay. Let's start off with Megan and Party. <laughs> let's start off with Megan and Party. <sighs> okay, on a scale to one to ten, who who did it better? Girl, 10 for party. 
<laughs> he got tens across the board. Yeah, now, that's a diss track to your ex. If you want to drop a diss track track to your ex. That's how you do that shit. Nah, seriously. I mean, God damn. The devil was a serpent. Put some streams and views, cause I hope it was worth it. Same for Megan the Stallion. This is for Megan the person. Y'all is he was wild for that. Like it was so many like lines where I was just like, like what the fuck, Megan? No, Megan. Megan had me in the gym thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> Like, but I don't really think personally, I really don't think she got lipo because I feel like you can tell who got lipo or who didn't because the belly buttons be different. Or am I tripping? You definitely tripping. Lipo and a BBL is two different things. Mm. So she may not have gotten a BBL, but lipo can be something as, as simple as fat removal. Yeah. So she could have got it like neck, arms. You know, Megan was a, she was just you like right, you me, right, you a right, hearty right. ass girl. So I think that's more so about what it is. So I don't know. I just don't call no cap in his rap. He wrote that out of pain and pure anger. That are those are real emotions. Yeah. And for him to have never said nothing bad about this girl until she decided to say something bad, like she he never says anything like through all the shit. Yeah. Imagine being with somebody while they're going on trial with somebody that they was effing. The trial lasts a whole year. <sighs> well. Personally, I feel as though, yes, Party did do his thing on there for sure. Did it warrant? Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. She did say one line, right? She said one line. But I feel as though being that he did make the diss track is because people were actually coming at him. Like, people were coming at him. This girl only really only said one line out of her song specifically about him. And now... The fans is just like, oh shit, party did this, just just yeah, that, 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 that. yeah. So and now he really does like you done pushed it, you pushed the hand, and now he hit the button and he let loose. Um and yeah, he dumping on that, dug in that ass with no lube. Okay, um, <laughs> but that is what I feel as though like yeah, Megan, I don't know what you're gonna do after this. I hope he did not end your career after that whole thing because I already know you just said your pussy was depressed. And now I feel like you just might sunk back in. I don't know. But stay stronger. I don't believe that. I don't believe shit this whole say no more. But I need to stop. Like, I just want to, I don't want to be a woman that puts other women down because I know how hard it is to be a woman. A woman and like feel like people don't understand you and all this other stuff. I know how hard that is. So I don't want to put put her down, but I also don't. I also just believe party. So I'm just gonna say this: all of this, once again, just revol revolves around inner work. We all need it. Yeah, party, you need it too. Because mm -hmm. if you was really that healed and high and mighty, you would have never dropped that diss track. But that's a fact. But I'm glad you did. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. No, that the shit, tea was that shit made my day. It was boiling. Yeah, Scorching. that shit. That sh that shit was some real tea. Like, Shout out to you, cause some the girlies needed that in their life. It's yeah. Fontaine. Also, if you're ever single and me and my crush don't work out, if you and Jada Kingdom don't work out, <laughs> hit my girl. Up. Okay. All right. So should we stick to the toxic couples? Well, I mean, it's all about toxic couples, really. Honestly, because shit is just like, it's coming to a point where it's just like, damn. Even though we had stories behind the scenes about certain people, but it's just like Kiki, and pa Kiki Palmer and Darius, that whole situation. That was crazy. It's just like the facade, the facade, the facade. And you expect people to feel like everything was kumbaya and shit like that. And then after the concert, I mean, well, what was it? The Usher concert or whatever. That's when shit really hit the fan and red flags started coming out. And then all everybody on the internet was all up in an uproar. The man saying, oh, well, she do, do all that. She is a mother. That like, but before we even jump into it quick, we just going to do it quick. Do you feel like he had a ground to stand on for being mad about what happened at the Usher concert? No. Would you have done that to Usher, knowing that your man would see it? I wouldn't even be doing like, he didn't touch me. 
Bruh. He, did he touch her? Did you see the... Bruh. Let's pull the video up. We're going to have to insert a clip. Let's put a video up first because... I honestly, I feel like they was all up on each other. Whether they was touching each other with their hands, their bodies was definitely touching each other. So, I don't know. Well, I feel as though, here's the thing. This man is a famous ass person. We having fun. He already know I love me some Usher. I love me some Usher. Now we having fun. Uh-uh. So, no. 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 Mm-mm. I just feel I like know. that was like innocent, like I feel like you like can platonic. only play he's a famous person if you're dating somebody that's not famous. <laughs> That's like a lady of the night. Oh, she looks so good. She do. Oh my gosh. No wonder why he was mad. Girl, she was so happy. I'm just saying, that is Kiki Palmer. You is Darius Lafarious. I don't know who the fuck you is for real. If you asking me, let me go ahead and do what I need to do. I am Kiki Palmer and that's why he jealous. He was jealous and that was a jealous mindset that he had. So that's why he did all that. Do I agree with it? Do he did he need to do all that in front of the internet and try to like you do all no, I didn't think that was warranted. I don't. They could have, like I said, did it in, pri- in private, but here's the thing. If that would have never happened, who would have known like if she would have ever sent out that domestic violence like issue with True. him? So I don't know. I don't know. What you think? What else do you think about the situation? I do feel like the whole old grabbing and dancing was too much. And I feel like he had a ground to stand on for being upset about it. I personally feel like he only said something publicly because, like, he was humiliated publicly. And I feel like if you publicly humiliate somebody or publicly embarrass somebody, you deserve for the reaction to be public. Um, But as far as the abuse and stuff, Mm -hmm. I do feel like that is a start to what made it get out of hand to the point when she was done with it. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. But I do pray for healing for the bulk of them. Yeah. And then, yet again, I feel as though it was the fans, it was the people that was probably like, went to his face, like, you gonna let your girl do all that? See, it be the people that be amping shit up half the time. I'm not even gonna hold you. It's definitely a percentage of the people. Is we? We the people of the United States? No. Who is we? Your family? The public. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, so. For sure. That should be getting to people. Duh, but tweak out. Don't need that. Um, but yeah, and then Kiki Palmer's mother dig and that he she dug in that ass. I ain't even gonna hold you. That's because you yes, um a, a metal fragment into the head. I don't, I don't know, I don't wanna do too much on here, but a met, a metal piece of fragment to the head is what she wanted to do uh, uh behind her child. Oh motherfucker. I'm trying to tell you, if it's if it's time to choose violence, then that's what you need to choose. I will say that is never the answer in a lot of situations. Yeah. But when you're in that situation, when mm-hmm. it's time to choose violence, you better turn the fuck up. Whether if it's life or death situation, okay? Life or death. That just reminded me. Didn't you just post a video of that girl, um, that rapper that shot her manager? Driver gets out of the car and he and the woman are seen arguing. The dispute gets physical and they start hitting each other. A second man gets out of the Lexus and also starts to attack Hicks. Then both men are seen on top of Hicks in the struggle. Video shows one man slamming Hicks to the ground. Moments later, all three get up and Hicks is seen walking in the opposite direction. Hicks then reaches into her purse, walks back towards the two men, and starts shooting as the men run. Her manager is hit and collapses on the street. The other man gets into the Lexus and drives off, slamming the car into Hicks. The Lexus reverses before driving off. Hicks gets up and runs away. The victim...
in a hospital. Hicks claims it was all self-defense and that her life was in danger. In November, a judge granted her house arrest with... She, she, gave them, she gave them exactly what the fuck they was looking for. Like, you jumped a lady? Two niggas jumping a girl? The only way, the only thing that I do disagree of what she did is that she walked away first and then she came back. If you, in that, you know how critical they are in the courtroom. If you feel as though you are definitely threatened and you feel as though you can reach and actually do it in the action of them doing it, cool. But you, instead, you walked away. They seem like they weren't really following you. You know what I mean? But you turn back around. Da, 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 da. You feel me? I hear what you're saying. And I had that same thought when they, like, when I seen it, because I'm like, damn. They still gonna get her because she walked away first. But one, she only got house arrest. That's what I yeah. So I also feel yeah. like too, in her, you know me, Mrs. Devil's advocate. <laughs> yes, ma'am. In her defense, she walked, she did like two steps. I feel like that's more so she made it seem like she was walking away so she could get her gun. If she would have pulled her gun right out or they seen her reaching, they would have read, they could have reached first and really like got her. So she had to make sure she was covered and then boom, boom. It's not like she left the scene, came back, or it's not like she walked away, she was down the block. This girl took two steps around, got that shit, and turned out, turned around dumping. Mm -hmm. And I, I, don't, I don't hate her for it. I don't hate her no, for she, it. No, by any means necessary. It's just like the fucking steps of how that happened. I know the they way he slammed her shit. with that car. That's crazy. They would have killed her. They would have killed her. If they could jump, if two men can jump a woman, on the side of the road in public, who knows what, what, what was going to happen when she left that scene? I'm sorry. The sassy, the sassy apocalypse is going crazy. It's a it's an epidemic upon these men yeah. out here. You going to tell me it takes two men to jump a woman? When the girl, I could see she was really whooping dude ass. They wasn't even really like, they was tussling, but it wasn't really, neither one of them was really fucking in the other person up. So why did you get out the car and decide to help stuff yeah, this out? Yeah, that's crazy. Weird. Black women. So unprotected. And Seriously. Yeah, like, it's, it's disgusting. I can't stand you men. Half you men out there. Majority. Especially what I see on social media and what y'all are saying. Majority. And that just lets me know what kind of person you are. I don't know if you're a troll, but being that somewhat your thought process is like low key, like inhumane, it, it's like really telling. Yeah. So, huh? Kiki Palmer, get your justice, girl. And I hope he pay for everything that he did to you. Even though sometimes I just feel as though women should like say that shit now instead of like later. For sure. Stop forgiving these men. For sure. They're like, especially in a domestic violence situation. If he put his hands on you, if he mentally abuse you to the point where you like, you can barely eat, you looking, you looking crazy in the head. You looking crazy on the outside. Girl, leave him. For real. Because they can actually, they can literally drain your, like drain your yeah. face. Like your physical body will look terrible if you stay around. Oh my gosh, what? This nigga tried to end me. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm glad you're here, friend. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Escape those shackles. Mm -hmm. But okay, boom. We hit. What did we hit? We hit Kiki Palmer. We hit Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fly to, should I say Will and Dwayne or Will and Jada? Man needs. Let's ride out. I know that's right. Oh my god. Still love you, Will. I'm sorry. You know it's all jokes. Yeah, like huh? yeah, well, like yo, like I just, when I heard that, when that man parted his lips on Tasha K, Tasha, whatever show she she got going on, and parted his lips to say. Dwayne was murdering, killing him. All I can think of is, you know, like the wrestling back in the day where everybody used to be like. <laughs> you stupid bitch. <laughs> Anybody thirsty from licking Kevin's salty balls? Jesus Christ, I bet if Will called you, you would have been out here on the goddamn dime. Okay, everybody, raise oh, oh, your glasses oh, oh, oh. up high. 
They was killing him from the back. Murdering. From the bike. His... From the bike. I was just like, and me being that I really do have like a visual mindset, my mind was tore up from the flow up. I, I feel the visual right now. No, Lord. seriously. I'm, vis- I'm envisioning it right like... Like, for real, Will? <sighs> How you gonna let a man bend you over? <laughs> oh, so you doing the bending. Okay, <laughs> shout out to Tasha for freeing herself. Okay, I'm happy for you, Gina. Tasha freeing herself. Is that herself. her Tasha Cable- Campbell? Tasha Mack. I'm talking about Ta- Dwayne I mean, Barton's uh, wife. Oh, yeah, Gina. Yeah, Tasha. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Spree, I'm glad you freed yourself from them shackles of homosexuality. No I'm joking. I swear, I haven't. It's by a straight I man. Am, I am, yeah, that part. I am TLGBTQ and all the other good stuff. But baby, that was deep. I'm not finna. Mm-mm. Like, who did not pay this man? Why did he feel so comfortable? Like the, the way he just said it, just slipped out like butter. Like he had, he wasted no time. No trigger warning was warned. Oh, I'm sorry. I have lost my train of thought thinking about him getting killed from behind. But also, can we please get into how bad of liars they are? Like, well, you released a statement saying what it was. Whatever he said, it was ex expansionally false. <laughs> Who says shit like that? I'm sorry. Real people give real reactions and real emotions when people are truly lying on them and really assassinating their character as bad as that man just assassinated his character. There's no emotion behind Jada's face when she was doing the interview. She lied just like a nigga. She leaned back, put her head up. Yeah, we can hear uh, We laughed at that. Girl, you're lying, yeah. laughing ass ho. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, we You're lying. We're going to do, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get it done. And I, I got my bae. Girls. Any who. Any who's. Y'all lying. Tell the truth. We still going to love Will for sure. I mean, Jada, you done lost so much. I just don't know. Like, I'm just so mad. Every time I advocate for somebody. Two fucking seasons later, bitches is doing dumb ass shit that make me like, damn. Once again, this is why Jocelyn's talking to hoes like that. Because these hoes is dumb. <laughs> All right, enough of that foolery, that tomfoolery. So we just get into the main subject. Yes, let's get into a, um, this is just basically. I'm about to go give me a shot. <laughs> <laughs> As to why these celebrities, these down low, hierarchy men's out here is doing is doing the dirties of the dirt, aka the high, the 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 big old actors in the industry. It's a lot of stories about them about all these like gay rituals to get like in like the higher room, different doors that you gotta open and stuff. And if you're gonna take it, you're gonna take it like. Terry Crews already came out about sexual assault when he tried to go get into this party and the man groped his ass. Whoa, that's kind of crazy. And then you got P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddy Love, and Diddy Bop over here <laughs> um, doing all this, all this crazy stuff now that Cassie has literally put it out in the open. Now, we all done heard the stories and stuff like that in interviews and whatever people been saying, but now it's in an actual lawsuit. So... Like I said, this is like the quickest lawsuit settlement that I have ever seen. Tory Lanez could never. Okay. He don't even got that type of coin. This was a coined lawsuit. And it just leads me to believe that maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I feel as though he was just like, it's either you take this fucking money or some, uh, well, if you want to take this shit to trial. You already know what's going to happen. You try me. And then she's going to get traced back to me. So I don't know, but she is very much bold for, you know, recommending herself. Her. Like, this is what we need. I'm so proud of her. This is what we need from women to actually speak up and speak out against these yeah. men that are high level celebrities and high level people in this industry. 
even though it is kind of hard, money do talk, bullshit do walk. Yeah, but me. it's just like, yo, you have to really tread lightly in this type of industry. Thing. Yes, and you women have as women. Either you high up, whether you low down, whether you right in the middle class. Yeah. As women, we have to stop letting these men control us. Mm -hmm. That shit is dead as fuck. Even the people that seem happy and have everything in the world, when they're being controlled by a man behind the scenes, yeah. these bitches are depressed as fuck. That shit is not okay. And I just want women, for sure, to stand up for themselves and what they feel true to and what don't yeah. make them comfortable. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, don't do that shit. And don't sit there too long. Like, please. But can I say something real quick, something really childish that just popped in my head? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, so Cassie said that Diddy, like, literally made her have sex with a male prostitute yep. while he watched. Yep. And you want to know... And masturbated. How I feel like Diddy was when she was fucking those male prostitutes. Go, best friend, shake that shit. Go, best friend, take that. I know you fucking lie, bitch. Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> I don't want to look at you the rest of this episode. Not. Oh, you dead wrong. <laughs> Y'all, uh, I had to say it. I had to say it. shout out to the ADHD years out there. Yes, yeah. embrace, embrace your, <laughs> embrace your multitasking mindset that you got. You, yeah. Anywho, but yes, um. While he masturbated, taping it, all that stuff, she was only able to wear white nail polish. And if you peep with young Miami, that's all she wears when she's around him. Girl. That's so controlling. Girl. Wow. Let You made this woman shave her head. Be like a white woman. And to feel like, yo, like, do you not know, like, Every trend, like, probably, like, everything has a story behind it. Mm -hmm. And that became a trend for women. Do you mm -hmm. not know? I've had my head shaved. You did. You did. I remember yeah. that. I remember that era. I remember that. Yes. Yes. You was definitely that Rihanna. I did. I did everything. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do me a look. Okay. <laughs> she will. And, like, I just, I just cannot wrap my head around, like, this girl was really doing this, like, was doing this. and. They're on the red carpet. She's smiling. Da, 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 and it's just like the facade, the facade, the facade. It'd be really like you would have never known. Well, sometimes you would have never known. But now that shit are coming back up, people are bringing back up more videos and stuff like, you know, body language on how he looks at her when she's yeah. around men and stuff like that. And it's kind of scary. Like It's very scary. Girl, when I was watching the tea. And really like catching up on all the tea with this man. When I say I was terrified, it was like maybe two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I had fell asleep early. I woke up and I just started looking at videos and seeing all this shit. When I said like I had like a terror over me, like I felt like I was watching a scary movie and I was literally getting scared. Like yeah. kept listening at my door, like, bruh. Not at your door. Girl. People no, I'm a real the boogeyman. Crazy. Oh my God. I was so like it just was a very scary thing. And for me to feel that like from within, yeah. I don't like feel like that shit is even with Drake and his extension thing, X X X clip. Yeah. It's and that scares me yeah. too. I feel like he definitely did. And then he also they also um called him to court about that too. Yeah. That situation. And I yeah, I feel like he paid them in to do it. He and... keeps bragging about it. Thank you. And why are you bragging about it? Like that shit is weird. Like it was never that deep. You killed a man that was younger than you and just now popping, and you stole his music too. You stole, like, you stole his uh, flow, whatever you stole. It's crazy. And, and then he did say, "If I come up dead, Drake did it." Yeah, yeah. Allegedly, let me. <laughs> and you know what? Just piggybacking off of all this shit, you know what this honestly makes me think? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we're doing our YouTube stuff. Yeah. And of course, I feel like. 
we, especially for myself, at least for sure for myself, obviously for the both of us, because we're both doing it. Yeah. We're doing it because we feel like we have something to say and we feel like we can make people's days like with this show, like yes. with, with our personalities, because we're sharing like a high vibrational show with you guys. But this shit really, the part that really fucks me up about it is it's a, so many other celebrities that be around them, partying with them. Like everything is fucking normal. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what's up with all of y'all? I can't sit there knowingly that a person does this to other people, yeah. especially some people who do this to children, whatever it is, and just comfortably, comfortably be around them. And this is why, shout out to Miss Riri. She pop out at the events with her man, but she do not be cadoodling with these people. Mm -mm. These people are the fucking devil. No wonder why she doesn't want to make music anymore. Literally, literally. Like, her and her man for real, for real. They do what they do to keep that bag consistent, but they're not fucking with the industry, and I really love that about them. I love that for them too. But it's that Rocky. I hope you ain't do the dirt. I hope you beat the case, but if you did the dirt, I hope you just get house arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Lord, because we ain't got time. No, she just seriously. had two kids for you. I know. Don't she let her down. Man. They just they are so cute together, ain't she? Yes, seriously. <laughs> but honestly, that just makes me feel like when we really take off, I'm just glad I'm just starting to pay attention to certain things so I won't get... Because you know me, I'm always down for a good time. Okay. You said, what? Well, let's do it. Because that's the type of person I am. Like, I'm very, like, hot. I'm very energetic. Like, I'm, I'm a fucking child in an adult's body, hands down. So, yeah, no. Don't invite... I'm, invite me. Like this might not come <laughs> to like P Diddy's after parties and what people have been saying about it. Fifty Cent done digged into his ass like mm. a couple of times, mm -hmm. and then if you saw like one of his after parties, it had like a the biggest bed. You remember that? I'm like, cool, I'm trying to be the same. He had a big old bed, like a big old mattress. That's like disgusting. It was bigger than this fucking, it was bigger, yeah, it was big. Don't nobody care about diseases no more? Is that something that people don't but care it was about like, no more? It was like an outside party basically and it was like you know for like you know a party so everybody jumping on it and stuff like that having fun type shit i know they was doing something else on that after hours girl i know it because why the fuck else would they just put a bed there let's just put a bed right here so we can all jump on it <laughs> i know i know it's a lot of ndas he'd be sending out and shit like that i was just like <sighs> like when are we gonna hold like really hold this man accountable for real I really want a surviving P. Diddy, surviving Diddy Love, surviving Diddy Bop documentary. Real fast. Justin real quick. Bieber, I want to know. Are you I okay? know he wasn't down. Girl, and if y'all peeped that, um, what was it? It was a multiple videos of them like making him feel like so somewhat uncomfortable. Yeah. And stuff like that. Like it was real bad. He didn't even really know how to talk around that man. Yeah. And then he made fabulous uncomfortable. Girl, you know I seen that. But did you also see the interview with YK Osiris? Like <laughs> <laughs> he, he liked that shit. You took that like you let people he needed take that you money. shopping. He needed that money. That was the biggest, like you never let a man take you shopping. Even Cat Williams said that shit. I would never let no man take me shopping. He needed that money. Mm, you ain't nothing but a two dollar hoe. Damn, that's tea right there. No, seriously. And then I just this is so much that I wondered. Like, what are your kids? Like, you have two daughters that are coming to the. You age. have more than two daughters. Oh yeah. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Oh, so he he just had he Kim literally Carter in the first child. She he had, she had um four kids by no three kids by him. She Kim had Porter three had kids yeah. by him, and then she had Big one up. kid before, and then he got her best friend pregnant, which is Justin. And, that, and but it's like, why are those the only ones that we see? And then out well, they be with the mama. Her oh, I guess are. the mother doesn't want them around that. I would, duh. Oh, give me my money. Hello. And I'm well, raising kids. You don't even got to worry about this. Like, even like, 
who's was it Quincy's Quincy's mother? Mm-hmm. Um, I feel as though she can't even get married just because of him. Like I'm paying you this much, and you telling me you about to. Uh, uh. But I think Quincy is Kim Porter's son, and AI is his dad. I'll be sure is yeah, Al. I'll be sure is Quincy, and then it was another one. What's the it's other? Justin. Justin, and then the dark skin King. King. King Kong. Yeah. Okay, so, so Justin, Justin is his mom. Okay, his gotcha. Mom. Yes. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. She's a beautiful woman. She is, but I heard her and Kim was friends. The mm-hmm. whole situation was very messy. Yeah. But I guess that's why Kim was, you know, wanting this kid to come in. And then this woman is like, P. Diddy, like, you have all these people that's either dead or broke behind you. I would never want to be in a circle or, like, in a relationship with any kind of man that his circle is either dead or broke. That's crazy to me. Or even in, in a controlled in a controlled environment. I don't want to be around that man whatsoever. I just hope nothing bad happens to Cassie or her husband or their kids. <clears throat> I hope not. She's probably a shit. I hope she's protected now, but her husband loves her very yeah, much she so dearly. It's like, so beautiful. He actually, she wouldn't like, be able to do that if she yeah, didn't have him. Yeah. She, he listened to her. He was behind her back 100%, which you should always be behind mm-hmm. a woman, especially when she's telling you like all her the trauma. horrid shit that happened. Yeah. Like, who, like, you talking about like orgies? forced orgies on this woman like every other week like he's probably the one telling her like no you need to take this nigga to court you need to get money yeah. for that shit yeah no and, way. and do and do and that you need a man that's going to talk some sense into you but you also that's how you know she have a good man because she actually listen yeah anybody if she was if she if he was like a little ass bitch ass nigga to her mm-hmm. bitch i'm not listening to you he gonna kill me yeah but that's how she like you know what that's my man He's white, and I I'm just really happy for her. Like yes. I'm so fucking happy. That was for her. amazing. So um, for you, Miami. Yeah. For you, y'all. I'll, for real. For girl, yourself. I need I for need yourself. something from you. Like it's either you done with this man, for or yourself. we already know if you is a girl's girl or not. For your no seriously, for yourself. Who from the shackles show? No, for real. And. What else was on a yeah, like I said, half your shit half your people's is dead, bro. Like you try to blow a kid Cuddy's car. That not saying that was your people. You hung Wale out the damn window and then joked about it years later. When I was uh, man, DJ DJ, give me give me the thing, man. <laughs> Yo, I am love now, y'all, so you know, back in the day somebody may have got thrown out a window for that shit. But not yet, not no more. I just handled it with grace. Yeah, Louis Grace. Yeah, so um, uh, even though Wale did deny it, of course he's denying it. He probably just said, "Shut the fuck up." I don't, I don't think he shit. hung him out the window. He said, well, "If it was back in the day, I would have hung him out the window." It was a, it was a person that's already out there that was in the room with him. Him, Shy Glizzy, and Wale was working. Wale was working on the song with Cassie. They was all in the studio together. Wale already warned him. He was just like, "Bro." Don't do too much around Cassie. Don't even like look, breathe, like like don't do nothing stupid. They working on the music. It's like a he said what he said. It was like a like a drape or whatever. P Diddy came in, security guards or whatever like that. They, I guess they was working together. He was saying like, next thing you know, they dumped it. He's like he saw his shoes <laughs> up in the air. So. That was a that was an alleged story that that man told. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep saying alleged because I ain't got time because this is a really touchy subject. It is touchy and it's very alleged. And I just want to be ignorant real quick. Diddy, if if if, he, if that gay shit wasn't happening in the prostitution and the like physical abuse, he would be my type of man. <sighs> if I if I see my man hang somebody from a window, I'll be like. I told you not to talk to me. <laughs> no, let me stop. That's the old me talking. Honestly, the new me, <laughs> the new me is just like, why are you doing that? Stop. Can you get on my nerve? Don't do it. No. <laughs> Babe. 
No, on, I was a museum. That, I was like, damn, this is a studio. We working on music. I already know you got cameras all around. But yeah, he's just a very possessive man and it's scary. That man is the pure devil in a human form and I'm just not fucking with him. And I, I hope everybody that's around him that's still alive and well. Tread lightly. Please tread lightly and Arby O'Day. I hope you get your money some kind of way. I she hope ain't. you start. Well, I hope you do a document series or something like that on Hulu. Yeah, I know you had the tea and the bubble, but she might not have the money for protection. She might. She might not. She might not. Well, but if she sells to white people, Mona Scott might give you protection. But we did say we want our women to stand speak up, up, speak yeah. up, and whatever may maybe the consequences or whatever like that. You might as well have a strong team behind you. And do what you need to do to expose the industry. I know it's a lot of exposing videos, but we're really not doing shit about it. Yeah. And people are still standing. So cut out the main man. All cut. Right. Cut the snake by its neck. That's the only way you'll die. But okay, we're gonna do our um we're gonna do our um cool down. Basically, just run through the baddies. We wasn't gonna do jobs in the cabaret, but Honestly, that shit old news. It wasn't nothing fucking exciting. Um, no, no shade to Jocelyn. You still that girl to me until you give me a real reason not to be like the rest of these bitches. But you're doing good for me, at least. Anywho, baddies, let's go. Like dry ass season. Natalie, stupid, Scotty waited too late to be that bitch. You should have started off like that. Maybe I would like you. Yeah. But since you're just doing it now, it's just so it's like a moot. It's just stupid yeah roly you're just so like wishy-washy for me you're really fake as fuck if i'm just being honest and honestly you if it was me and you i would dog your ass and that's hands down i don't really give a fuck about that big shit yeah facts Anna, i know like you're starting to irritate either. me like she's still cool but she's she is irritating mm -hmm. now i see why christian wanted to whoop your ass when she first got on that bus Damn, I really, uh, yeah, you did too much on Biggie, even though they really didn't show like what she was actually doing to like actually irritate you, which I feel like that fell short on Biggie's part because this is like, we have no proof and I already know people just going to co-ride on a sale because most people really don't like you for some reason, but I actually like you, Biggie. You just a misunderstood little girl. Yeah. It's okay. I can like, see that. I rock with you. But, and then like, who else? Smiley, this whole situation with Smiley, Mariah. And Sapphire and Suki. I'm not fucking with being that we saw the previews. You know, they say I'll see show the previews at the end for the next episode. I peeped that. We all know it's alleged. It's either she had a miscarriage or she died, she did not have a miscarriage. Even though recently, recently she just had a miscarriage, and y'all decide to fight this woman. Clearly, if she and they was edging it on too. It was so weak to me, girl. And then at the beginning. She already knew she wanted to fight. She just said she didn't know she was fucking pregnant. So. Exactly. Of course, she don't want to fight no more. I just had a fucking miscarriage. Exactly. And they acting like she was in the club too. Now that's so she did not go to the club. She wasn't drinking. She went to the go-kart part, but she wasn't, she wasn't playing. She yeah. was just there to do her fucking job, which is why she's on the fucking show. And then she didn't want to be alone. That part. That part. And I'm sorry. I, I've been that person before. Yeah. That felt like I was pregnant. But honestly, me knowing that I'm pregnant, not knowing if I really want to keep the baby or not keep the baby just because I know who I am deep down, I did everything I can to keep avoiding knowing. It's just like, I don't want to know until I don't have no choice but to face it because this is just too much for mm -hmm. me. So I understand yeah. why perhaps she decided to just do what she wanted to do anyway. Because it's just like shit. If she end up pregnant, what? She just going to have to go off the show. Yeah. But if not, at least she did what she had to do for the kids that she do have. And she always talk about her fucking kids. I ain't never heard nobody on none of these seasons say they miss their children. Girl. She always say that shit. So that probably was fucking her up mm -hmm. trying to even decide if she like wanted to keep that baby or not. Yeah. That's why she ain't take that test. I just feel like y'all is dead ass wrong for just even trying to fight this woman. After she said, I'm not fucking fighting no more, y'all still fall her even to the next episode when she hopped off that motherfucking bus. Knowing damn well still fought her. that if she wanted to really fight, she really could have tore y'all up like beef fucking jerky the way she did Mariah Lynn Girl. the first fucking episode. She dogged that bitch. Girl. Girl, dog her. All I'm saying is, somebody please fight Natalie, please, please, please. I'm really waiting on this Jamaica episode, even though I did see a little bit of Scotty and Natalie getting into it, and it looks like Scotty was actually trying to throw something. Good, 
we don't know her. yet, Good but we're going to make sure. Scotty, I hope you really at least bump the bump the lip or something. That part. Maybe she's always been like that, but she, you know, sometimes it's like you have that rage and that response in you, but the maturity in you is just like, let me not say anything. And I guess they had to tell her, like, you can't, you can't use your mature thoughts on here. If they say something, say something back. She's like, okay, cool. I gotta say something. I really feel like Natalie is like beginning to be the P. Diddy of Zeus. <laughs> her and Mr. Liam, whatever his fucking name is. Yes. There's been too many stories that I heard allegedly Scotty over there doing the dude with Natalie and her husband. Scotty over there doing the dude with the Janisha CEO of, and the CEO yeah. of Zeus and shit like that. I just heard you was just really just like a pastor brand. And I heard whatever you That's did in why Dubai, up are up. you did Dubai it on. Yeah. I ain't gonna hold you because there's no way, girl. There's no way. Why are you still on the show? Seriously. And why did you retract your statement when you said that you didn't want to be in the show, like do the show anymore? Why did you do that? That money, if somebody man, tell money you, sometimes can be the root of all evil. Girl, you better run while you can but you because do it's getting do, real shicey around here. You hear me? I, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Too many stories. Dude. It is. But I'm glad they weren't silenced for too long. Son of girl, once she got her own bag, that's one thing about her. Mm -hmm. She, Yeah, she probably had to go through motherfucking shit that she didn't like to stay on the show and do it and get her bag. Yeah. But she turned that into her own shit. Mm -hmm. And once she could stand on her own two feet by herself, she... Yeah. Prashawn, this is how we know you really don't got your bag and your music it ain't really what it is and all the shit that you're saying is, what you, is not what you're saying because you've still been on this show <laughs> time out of time and been on a show pregnant. You need this show. Yeah. Real bad. No wonder why. Blue took all your money, your money young, or whatever. Whatever. You gave him the money like a dumbass and that's what position that you are in now. You did have a little bit of new music that I did see today on um, whatever Zeus did. You know, they be doing music and stuff shout outs and stuff like that girl you was just one sad chick and i'm tired of it i'm tired of the sad shit even girl, though the flow was kind of good i'm not i'm not gonna okay. negate that okay so i'm gonna have to check it out mm -hmm. i mean we still support black women you just i mean i will fight you too yeah Taseki, love you girl love you damn you was just real cool real calm and collected just like sky it's uh, too calm for me I Can feel like somebody speak up and just put these bitches in their place. Uh, I just feel as though she just be like, "What the fuck be wrong with these?" Bitches? I agree, but all y'all baddies are not being a baddie and being a bad bitch is two different things. Cause a real baddie gonna speak up when they see full gazy ass shit. Nobody speaking up. That shit is really pissing me off about everybody in the cast. Mm -hmm. At this point, just they want to the speak out clean. after the show is aired. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Uh. Um. I'm just, oh, and Rolly, what the fuck were you wearing? Why you had them jeans, thongs on? My friend was literally about to puke on the floor. Because they kept flashing. And they and you know they dare walk for flashing ass. that shit. Because every time they every time the camera turned, they go that jean thong. What the fuck? I know how to run down the slide. <laughs> I do got bottoms. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what it reminded me of. Oh my gosh! So I know how to bitch run down the slide. <laughs> okay, like that. That like, what made you th think that was like, actually okay to like wear? I know your pussy is screaming. No, seriously. Like, like for real, for real. That's that's kind of giving like if you was burning, you wouldn't even care because you already got something hunched up your fucking cooter cat. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> That's craziness. But yeah, like, I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of it. Um, T, you getting your bag. You actually can sing, though. I heard your music too, girl. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't it. bad. Even her raps, I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. it's really not that bad. Her voice is an acquired taste. But the raps itself, the video, you being a baddie, like, mm -hmm. I will say she is a baddie. Yeah. For sure. A bad bitch, for sure. For Shout sure. Shout out to you. I'm definitely glad that Suki and Sapphire is on the show. No, that they shit was me that funny as Girl, me and Suki are like almost here and here. This was so what I need a license for. I ain't never had a license. I ain't never been on insurance. My car is a free yeah. pole. My car is a free pole now. And that's why you a real bitch. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about the repo part. But 
That's all you want to show, and you getting your brand out, your name out. So yes, I love, I love them. But I'm please do not here. disappoint us. I already know you about to disappoint. Sapphire already disappointed me when she tried to choke slam this girl twice, and she just said she had a miscarriage. Like, come on now, please somebody, please. She's do y'all doing too much trying to secure a bag, and y'all fucking up y'all own fan base. It's not just about being in a show. It's about creating a fan base yes. that's going to actually like you and ride for you. Because the show ain't going to be there all the time. You was a funny girl, but I stand on morals at the end of the day. Girl. Like, no. That girl says she didn't want to fight. She didn't want to fucking fight. Any story. Any exactly. Hook. You want to wrap this up? Please, let's do it. Once again, cause it's late. It's night. It's real dark outside. Shout out to Daylight Savings. You got me sleeping very responsibly lately. No. Nah. Seriously, it's my bedtime now. It's 7.04, girl. Hey, 7.04, Charlotte, you already know how we rocking. That's definitely where we host a show at. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's in Cali, but most times it's Charlotte. Yeah, for sure. You know Let's whine about it. Episode 14 of the Trials and Tribulations of all of these celebrities and shit like that. Surviving Diddy. <laughs> we tuning out. Bye. Bye.